everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RimWorld, shall we? Alright, well, um, we finished the tutorial in the previous episode, and now they're telling us to do something with storyteller settings, and I think that means I get to continue with these people from the tutorial, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if that's the best way to go about things, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, I just want to say uh, hello to everyone who has so far uh, posted on the first episode of the YouTube video, March Around, Manto, Fence, and Lurid. Everybody is really, um, I'm finding that a lot of other people, uh, friends of the channel, play this game as well and are excited to see it, so that always pumps me up, and knowing that uh, the game itself has intrigued me, and I have real life friends also who are on it about this game, well, I'm excited to go further. Now, let me just look what some of my um, resources are in the upper left. So this is silver, huh, but it's a commodity, and you make decorations, medicine, components, potatoes, steel, wood, packaged survival meals, I guess that's what we're eating until the rice comes around, and simple meals that we produce, so we only have four left. So I'm going to go to the menu tab, and I'm going to select options, and I'm going to select storyteller settings. Oh wait, one thing, I am going to change the temperature to uh, Fahrenheit. Um, I understand that everything that goes along with that, but um, I'm just used to seeing that growing up with it, so uh, it helps me register temperatures better. And let me see, storyteller settings. Um, the AI storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks. Their choices will affect the story of your colony. You can change these settings at any time. So, um, this is Cassandra Classic. Oh, interesting. So this is totally different from Dwarf Fortress. You really can't... You can, like, affect some elements of things based on your starting location and hostilities and, and frequency of where things spawn, I suppose, but an outright storyteller is is new. Um, so Cassandra creates story events on a classic increasing curve of challenge and tension. She'll push you t with dangerous events, then give you breathing room, then come back and push once more. I think that's fine. Um, So they're giving me options within Cassandra Classic. What are the other ones? Phoebe Chillax. She gives you a lot of time between disasters to build your colony. Um, but at high difficulty, she'll hit as hard as anyone. Or Ran <laughs> Randy Random. Um, he doesn't follow rules. He generates random events. And he doesn't care if they make a story of triumph or utter hopelessness. It's all drama to him. Uh, since he's truly random, he'll sometimes send extremely difficult or unfair groups of enemies at you, events at you. It makes for high drama and unavoidable sacrifices. Interesting. So, um, I think looking at this, peaceful is like the sandbox, right? Um, players who just want to build and relax. I mean, I like that. Community builder, um says threats appear but they're weakened adventure story says there's room to grow and thrive but it's still a dangerous planet and this is for experienced strategy gamers on their first game of rim world um and so i think i might go with this just to spice it up over the default of community builder um losing is fun yeah that's the dwarf fortress motto uh Only choose this setting if you are happy with the drama of struggling and dying. That's funny. Um, okay, we're going to go with just adventure story. And we're going to say close. And we're going to say... Um, I'm going to turn off texture compression. Um, oh requires a restart never mind 
and um, I do want to kind of show the animal names. Um, team named animals, please, and close. Okay, and I'm going to unpause it. All right, learning helper, what is this? Um, oh, okay. So it's like a little tutorial guide. All right, I'm going to pause it. I am going to um, queue up some more simple meals. We don't have enough. Bills. Oh, no, they're still making some. I'll, I'll make some more. They're sleeping. How's the rice field going? Um... 11% grown, needs light level 51. Um, wow. Okay, cool. We get a lot of info. And then this is like a bush. So that looks like they're done. We've got the sandbags. Um, there's a lot of things to take care of in terms of trees to cut down. And then Chandler um, has been obliterated. I don't know if she has anything else. Um, she had some silver, which I guess is her money, and uh, a club that's really bad. All right, I'll just unpause it. I'm going to speed it up while they're sleeping. <laughs> the squirrel is sleeping. That's hilarious. Okay. This is the fastest speed, by the way. They're really sleeping. Pen needed. Okay, we need to build a pen. For do we have animals? I guess that's a new thing that I can do. All right, so um, let me go to architecture um, and structure. Um, maybe a fence is for pens. Yeah, a fence made of posts joined by crossbars used for building pens for certain kinds of animals. Perfect. This would be exactly what we want. All right, so we're going to go with a wooden fence. Now, I also tried to build a horseshoe. Oh, they did build the horseshoe thing. It's right there. Um, let's build a small pen, like, you know, over here. I don't know how big you want this, but that looks okay. And then um, get me a uh, fence gate right there. Cool. All right, and I'm going to right-click. I'm just going to unpause it. Look at the Mega Sloth. It's over there. All right, now they're moving about their, their day, so I'm going to just put it on play. And the, this guy is immediately going to build this. So chopping down trees must be extremely low priority. And she's eating, I guess. Consuming a simple meal. Yeah, she's hungry. Okay. Um, and then now she's going to go help with the fence. And I guess maybe the hand... Does that mean she, like, waved to this guy and was like, Hey, what's up, dude? Um, okay. Now, what is he doing? He's taking care of the rice field. Construction botched? What does that mean? I'm going to pause it. And then I'm going to... Um, what is pen marker? Okay, cool. You put it inside the pen to mark it. Okay. Uh-huh. So this says very small pen. It could hold nothing. It's too small. It can only hold 0.6 chickens. Okay. Construction botched indeed. Maybe that's what they were talking about. I don't know. Um, that's funny. Okay, I've I've made a mockery of the the pen. All right, what I'm going to do then instead is go to um, boy. How do I demolish something? Um, deconstruct. Yes. Let's deconstruct this back edge. And I'm going to unpause it. Eugene is still sleeping. This dude just likes to sleep in, I guess. All right. Um, and now, what are you doing? I mean, you're 
hauling cloth to the stockpile. Good. She, she waved hi to Eugene. Now, um, she's going to take this apart. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to try and build a bigger pen. So I'm going to go back to fence and... Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is such a bad idea. Um, building it along the river like this. Uh, but let's see if I can get it at least big enough to hold a chicken. I think if I... Excuse me. Extend the front of this, I'll be okay. So Eugene is getting, he's mining, he's getting us some steel. Pen not enclosed. Yeah, I know. We're trying to get there. All right. So the pen is done, but let me look at this. This says very small pen. And, um... Now, before it was telling me um, how many animals I could hold. But now I don't see that information anymore. Huh. No, well, anyway. Um, I don't even know if I have animals. Did I bring animals? Do I have any? That's something to think about. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Um, I mean, what are you up to? Hauling cloth. Okay, good. And then... Um, other guy... Um, oh, interesting. I could tell him where he's supposed to sleep. Um, here we go. Emmy... All right, so how do I select like each go go between my people? Let's see what the uh, key command is to like cycle between them. Um, next colonist is period and spacebar. Okay, or period and comma. Okay, so Weaves, for example, he's. Leading Ludwig to the wooden pen marker. Okay, so Ludwig is our yak. Okay, so we did have a animal that came with us, and he went far away because we don't have a pen. And I don't know if Ludwig's going to be happy in this situation. Here he goes. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, and I'm going to see if this if this works. Alerts. Keep an eye on the alerts at the right edge of the screen. Tell you about issues that need your attention. Keep an eye on the alerts. Okay, I, I learned that. Thank you. Um, so Ludwig, wandering. Let's see if this actually works. All right, so this pen, nutrition consumption. So it looks like, looks like maybe there's not enough food in here. For Ludwig, so I don't know how to give him food. Can he eat grass? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's just not big enough because... Okay, so one idea would be to just... I probably should just demolish this and start a new one, right? But I'm just going to build my fenced area for the pen uh, up higher. And then um, around here, right up to the edge of the stockpile, in fact... Um, and then we'll put a, a gate there. Okay. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Social. She, Emmy exchanged ideas about the scale of the universe with Weaves. So she's talking to Weaves, the video producer, and they're having a good dialogue. Um... And they chatted a little bit. What, what do you need? Your mood is not great. Um, 
she has low expectations, which I guess is good. Um, her recreation is not good. Her beauty is not being met. Comfort also. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to have to build some recreation and some comfort. And she's like hauling this stone. That looks awful. Her head is down. I don't... I feel bad. Um, how can I... Like, what is this? Is this the uh, horseshoe pen? Is it done? Can you play horseshoes? Oh, okay, cool. On the animals tab, I can see. I have um, one animal. And it's Ludwig. All right, cool. So maybe construction botched means they just have to do it again. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead. Once they finish this, I will extend the pen. All right, they waved to each other. They had a good interaction. Now I'm going to go deconstruct um, this, this, and that. Um, there we go okay and hopefully they'll tear that up and let's see if this will give um, more space for the pen oh, they're talking to each other um, not really it's more space but there's still not enough nutrition for Ludwig I don't know if I have to plant stuff in there let me see what this says. Learning helper. Um, uh, no, no, no. Um, pens, maybe? Oh, okay. They want me to mine this. All right. So there's still a lot to do in the tutorial that I'm learning about, I guess. Okay. Um, all right, go ahead. And the stockpile is looking good. Let's build some furniture. They're talking about not being comfortable. Um, let's build like a dining room table. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build um, architecture... Um, structures we're gonna build a wall and I'm going to build like a dining room out here just another little place like this with a door here and here so that they can eat sit down, eat, relax kind of thing. <laughs> oh, when we've got meal problems. Everybody's hungry. I'm going to need to go to uh, cooking. Nobody's cooking. Weaves, you can cook, dude. I'm turning that on for you. <laughs> the video producer can make art, though, so maybe that will satisfy her beauty requirement. God, hauling stone is awful. Maybe I can build them, like, a cart or something. And nobody's doing research, by the way. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Well, I mean, I can't expect everybody to be super happy right at the very beginning. I mean... What is she up to? She's cleaning. She's like sweeping outside. And then she said hi. He's maybe chopping down this tree. Which would be useful. Do 
Do you need to build floors in this? All right, he's putting the roof on. Great. So now this building is inside. So we're going to build furniture. I should build a bridge. That's an awesome idea. Okay. We're going to build uh, furniture. And we're going to build um, a table. Are we out of steel? Do we not have enough? Oh, we have so much. Oh, no. It's just gray because it is steel. Yeah. Can we build a steel table? Why not? Right? And then a dining chair, like a steel dining chair. Construction needed four, though. Ooh. Who has construction four? Um, no. We have construction three. We have construction four on Emmy and construction one. So only Emmy can build this if our construction is bad. Our construction is no good, but that's okay. What if I want to build chairs? Um, that didn't work. How do you shift this though? Oh yeah, yeah, wooden dining chair. I just don't have the wood. Oh, it's the same. It's the same level of construction. So might as well make it out of steel. There. Now we've got some tape. Like people can eat here. That should be cool. Oh, look, Eugene's building it, and he doesn't have the the right construction. Maybe the table requires less construction. We got a table. There we go. So Eugene is filling up our steel situation. We're going to need to build probably another stockpile. I don't know what the limitation is, but now they're just eating like the, the ready-to-eat meals because nobody's cooking. The miner, um, his priorities are on... Well, apparently it's like... I set some other people to cooking, but nobody wants to cook. Come on, people. Um, cooking is top priority. So why are you not doing it if it's top priority? Do we not have the stuff to to do this? Maybe we don't have any rice. Maybe we don't have, um, like, like if I want to cook a simple meal. No, they should. Um, let me check. Can I check in the stockpile? What's in here? Foods. Um, no, it's, it doesn't tell you what's in here. Oh, they they had a good interaction. She's sitting down, so hopefully, she's relaxing socially. And he's actually doing research, so he's over here, like researching stuff. She's going to sleep. This guy is mining like a champ. He did wake up late, though. Okay. Even Ludwig the Yak is sleeping. All right, I'll speed it up while everybody's sleeping. Hopefully they're filling back up. Neutral, neutral, 
neutral. Yeah, nobody's really happy to be here. I can understand that. What are these pants? Um, we need to build a roof over our stockpile. Things are deteriorating. So, let me make this like a shed. So, let's go architect. Um, no structure. And then, no... Was it zone? Yeah, build roof area. There you go. Cannot build over a large oak tree. Okay, well, yeah, of course you can't. So I'm going to need to say... Um, orders... Uh, chop wood on that. Huh, must designate wood yielding sufficiently grown plants. So this tree is not grown up enough to chop down. I see. So she ate, and now she's putting up the roof. And I think she's chopping down the tree so she can do the roof. I think that's what's happening. Okay, she did. Now, let me get out of this. Emmy... Can I see your gear? You do have pants on. Okay. And she's got a meal in her inventory. What about you? Do you have pants? Okay, you do. Let me make sure everybody's got like the best equipment on. Are you dressed? Oh, this guy's super dressed. He's got a flak vest, a helmet. Yeah, he looks really good. Okay. Um, and we're going to um, pick up that silver. At the very least. What is this? Steel slag chunk. Okay. Interesting. All right. And I'll just unpause it. And she's working on the chair. Her needs for beauty are going down. So let's see. Can I build something nice? Floors. Here's floors. Yes. Um, paved tile. It just requires, uh, steel. Actually, let me see the, uh, information on... She wants beauty, right? So it says the concrete floor is ugly. Oh, I know we don't have enough wood, but... Um, now, can I tell them to get this wood and put it in the stockpile? Like, um, what was the button to select everything? Oh, just double click. Okay. And then, um, I want to say, I've got it all selected, right? Allow. And does this stockpile take wood? Maybe they'll build it on their own. Like, maybe they'll just pick up wood. Yeah, those, it doesn't even necessarily need to be in the stockpile. But let's put some wood floors in here. Let's give them something nice. Yeah, look how good this looks. There you go, people. Now that is nice. Now I wonder if you can, like just check something out where you know I look at the tile right and um, if I can see the the beauty of the area or not he's researching pretty hard um, let me see how our research is doing actually oh that you could see the progress bar filling up here so he's working on it it's not bad there's the rice field Hopefully food is happening. Um, okay, so now we've got wood floors, but let me go back to architecture and build wood floors again. I didn't build it under these doors. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Now we will. And then I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put like...
I'm just going to put concrete down under our um, stockpile. You probably don't need to do this at all. Oh, that's right, my bridge. Structure. Bridge. Yes. Build one here. And then... Build bridge there. Yes. Let's get some bridges going, people. Look at this. She ate. Oh, is he cooking? Finally? Good job. He's cooking. Yes. We got two simple meals now. We've got a floor underneath our stockpile. And... Uh, well, some of it, anyway. Whoops. I need to build it. My roof isn't even covering this part. That was, that's a mistake. Um, I talk, I didn't realize yet. Yeah, okay, so that was a mistake. All right, let me get this going. Architecture floor. And we're going to go back to concrete. I'm going to put it right there. And then I need to go to structure. No, no, no. Um, uh, zone. Build roof area. Yeah, let's build actually a porch right there. And right there. Awesome. And then I think I'll build some chairs outside so people could like sit under the porch and just chill out. Eugene failed while constructing a bridge. Some resources have been wasted. That is okay. Um, need recreation variety. Oh, we have a visitor. Holy smokes. Who's this? A forester from Eastern Del Hillsider is visiting the colony. She is named Hansel Alice Lee. She seems to have a few items to trade. Ooh, great. Now, she wants to trade. We do have some money. I'm hoping, like, in Dwarf Fortress, every season you get, based on, um, oh, that, I need to build more beds. Based on how many beds you have, how many spare rooms, every season in Dwarf Fortress, not every season, I think every year, there'll be colonists who will arrive, and they will expand your colony if, if they want to stay there. And how many you get is based on, it, it's a reflection of, like, how much food you have, how many spaces you have to sleep, and um, there's other variables in that calculus but it, it's something to that effect i don't know how it works in this game but i need to build extra beds if i want to attract other people to do more stuff um so she wants to trade so let's jump to the location and i don't know what i click on to like trade with her um she says question mark um you can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them um it's not a lock. Enemies can pass freely. It just means the colonists don't use it. Um, okay. Well, we don't need that right now, but let me see. Can we... Are we going to automatically go talk to this person? Right-clicking her doesn't do anything. Um, I don't know what to do um, in terms of... Got no quests. No. Yeah, maybe somebody of mine will probably come over and see her. I hope. She's just standing there. Oh, okay. I had to select one of my people and then say trade and then there we go he woke up to do this okay perfect that's how you do that all right so um we have 800 silver and she's got survival meals and cloth and a rocket launcher that's hilarious doomsday rocket launcher that's awesome all right i want um This is how many I have. She doesn't want a lot of this stuff. She will buy these pants for a lot. 
I could sell these for some meals. Wow, that's expensive. Um, okay, I'm just going to buy some meals. And I'm going to buy uh, all five of hers. And I'll trade her this pair of pants. And then that seemed to work out well. I'm going to... Oh, she came in. She, like, came in to hang out. Oh, he won't ever socialize. Okay. Um. All right. Interesting. No, no, no. All right. She came in to eat. And then she's just wandering around. That's hilarious. And she's leaving. It beeped to say that she's leaving. Okay. So we do need to have more recreation variety. So um, let's build a chess table. We can build it here. Um, and that looks good. And then we'll probably need chairs to go with that. Let's just put some stools in there. Cool. Alright. So, everybody's going to be eating the simple meals. And they, they prioritize eating these simple meals over... Like the ready-to-eat stuff. We're finishing these bridges, which I hope will help with the hauling of this rock. Um, now she's... What is she doing? Oh, she's cloud-watching. That's how she chills. That's fine. Ludwig, how are you doing? You're healthy. The food situation isn't great. Not in pain, though, at least. Construction botched. He picked up the the RTEs that we got from the trader and put them in the stockpile. And he's just relaxing. Okay, great. Perfect. So, you know, what we have here is now he's back to researching. What are you doing, Emmy? She's hauling steel to the stockpile, and she's immediately using the bridge because it's easier to cross the bridge, I imagine, than the water. So the bridges are a huge success. And um, we've built a dining area that was used by our guest, and people do eat here, so that's great. Um, what is this? Is this like broken glass on the ground? God's name is going on here. We need to clean up after ourselves. Um, and then... Steel dining chair, poor quality, awful quality. Yeah, because we don't have anybody who's good at construction, so the quality is just terrible on our stuff. But it sort of gets the job done. Not really. Um, let me designate this as a uh, dining zone, though, can I? Um, oh, let me see how to do that. I mean... Do I need to do that? Maybe not. Gathering spot. Yeah, they'll gather there. Okay, so it's not... Maybe you don't have to designate that. This is just like a sleeping spot. I'm going to build one more bed. Right there. And maybe that'll help attract somebody else who wants to come hang out. Perfect. All right, so now we do have... Yeah, she is cleaning up. Like, she's actively cleaning all of the stuff. Yes, look, she cleaned up the broken glass I was talking about. So she swept up. The house is looking great. Oh, there's a mad squirrel. Oh, no. Um, what do we do with this? Animals will attack doors. Manhunting animals will attack doors if they see one of your colonists moving through them. They will also attack inactive turrets. Mark as learned. All right, so is this the mad squirrel? Maddened. Manhunt. All right. Um, well, can can you go kill this? 
Yeah, but can't you... I can't do anything about, like... Dude. Um... No. Okay, I gotta select him and then say um, draft. Okay, now he can fight it, right? So I've drafted him, and I need him to use his knife on that. Can you go fight that thing? Okay, good. He got it. And then I'm gonna undraft him. Mad Squirrel taken care of. Good work, dude. Alright, what are you doing now, Emmy? Cowering. Oh, she was afraid of the Mad Squirrel? Yeah, I understand. We, we, we took it down, though. We should be okay. This one's not mad, is it? No. So she's still a little bit afraid, but now she's back. I mean, she's the sheriff, and she's cowering because of a mad squirrel. We've got some problems, but there's been a lot of, you know, trauma done on this trip, and that makes sense. It's a, it's a brutal thing that's happened to us with our ship crashing. Now, I need to also just immediately go over to, um, no, orders, and we need to chop wood, and I need, like, all of this chopped, because we're running out of wood. And so we need some more wood to finish, like, this bed, for example, and some other things. We did finish the chest table, and the horseshoes thing, so we have two recreation spots, the Mad Squirrel. Let me see where it says this. Um, yeah, jump to location. We got it. We took care of it. Order queuing. When giving commands to pawns, you can queue up multiple orders by holding shift. This also works when giving jobs to undrafted pawns. Oh, that's cool. So you can queue it up. Awesome. Well, everyone, I think this is a good place to end the episode. We've continued a bit with our initial colonists from the tutorial. We've set the storytelling mode. We dealt with a mad squirrel. We built a dining room extension onto our main cabin. We interacted with a trader. We built floors for our house and our stockpile. We built an animal pen. We're working on bridges. Um, we're researching. We're cooking. We're doing all sorts of good stuff. And um, I'm really enjoying the game. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And if you want to support me uh, making content, please um, check in the description below. There are links for becoming a member of the channel or a patron, and it helps out so much. Thank you all. Have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time, and let's play RimWorld. Take care.